Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amiye. Today we are going to discuss two questions with complete concept and formula. The question is in front of you. I would say please pause the video and solve the questions. I hope you have solved the question. Now let's discuss the direct formula and the concept. First discuss the concept method or the basic approach. Then we'll discuss the direct formula. In the basic approach, we just open this one. We have 2 raised to power 9 is nothing but 5, 1, 2. And the 4 bundle of zeros power 9 means we have 4 bundle of zeros repeated 9 times. So we can say we have total 4 into 9 that is nothing but 36 zeros minus 171. We just need to subtract. That means this is from here, this becomes 1 and gives 1 to all or 10 to all. This becomes 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 1 is 8 and we have all 9s and 2 becomes 1. So how many 9 do we have actually? We have total 36 zeros, so we should have total 36 9. But we subtracted 171, means 3 digit. So we can say we have only 33 nines. And the summation of 33 nines is nothing but 33 into 9. So this is the summation of these digits. We have to get summation of all digits. So summation of this is nothing but 7. And summation of this 829 is nothing but 19. So the total summation is 7 plus 297 plus 19. And this one is nothing but 323. So this is the conventional method of doing this. I am using the same conventional method but with different approach. We have to solve this question. First of all, how many zeros do we have? We have 4 zeros in the base and the 9. This is nothing but a total 36 zeros or we can say 36 nines. Base 0, what I am doing is the base 0 into power into 9. The one thing, number of zeros in the base into power into 9. That is the number of zeros or number of 9. We have to subtract 171. No, I would go for the sum of digits of 170. Just one less. That is 7 plus 1 is 8. I subtracted 8. And 2 raised to power 9. I am going for the sum of digits of 2 raised to power 9 minus 1. That is the addition. That is 5, 1, 1. This is nothing but the 7. So this is a direct. What I am going to do is 7 plus 36 into 9 minus 8 we solve will get nothing but 323 i hope it is clear if not clear let's solve few more question 200 raised to power 10 minus 19 what would be the sum of digits so we know 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 but we are not going to work on a 1024 we are going to work on 1023 i hope this one is clear because instead of 512 we subtracted 1 so 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 we work on 1023 2 into 10 is nothing but 2 into 10 into 9. That would be number of 9s minus 18. And these two are nothing but the sum of digits. So we just need to subtract 1 from here, 1 from here and the 9. So the summation is 3, 2, 5 and 6 plus 20, 180 minus 9. That is nothing but 177 would be the sum of digits. Again, not clear. Let's solve another question. We'll discuss how I'm generating this formula. 3000 raised to power 4 minus 101. First of all, we have 3, 4, 12 into 9. That is base 0 into power into 9. Plus 3 raised to power 4 is 81, but we work 1 less, that is 80. Summation of digits of 80 is 8 minus no need to work on 101, work on a 100 and the summation of digit is nothing but 1. 100 summation of digit is 1. This is 8 plus 108, 108 minus 8. That is 115 would be the value. It's still not clear. Let's get the formula and its derivation. The question is 2000 raised to power 3 minus 17. So what I am going to do is, I am working on 2000 raised to power 3 minus 1 and minus 16. I am just decreasing 17 by 1 and giving 1 first. We can say this is nothing but 8000 and 1000 
and thousand minus one. Is it okay? Minus sixteen. If we solve this one, that is nothing but seven nine 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 minus sixteen. If we want summation of digit of this number, we calculate the summation of digit of this number. We'll get the same answer. So if you think how many nine do we have? We have nine nine. So summation of the digits of nine nine is nine into nine. Or we can say directly, how many zeros do we have? Base zero into power is the number of zeros, and the number of zeros is same as the number of nine if we subtract by one into nine. Since we subtracted by one. So instead of working on seventeen, we have to work on sixteen with the sum of digit. So one less, and we are subtracting. Again, we have to work on two cube is eight, but we are working on seven. We take one, so this is nothing but two raised to power cube minus one as a summation of digit, and this is again the summation of digit. So instead of doing all this, we can say we have two cube boss. 2 cube is nothing but 8 so do not work on 8 but work on 7 i hope this one is clear 3 3 is a 9 so 9 comes 9 times and the extra minus instead of working on 17 work on 16 that is nothing but minus 7 and this one is nothing but 81 even after solving this we get nothing but 81 i hope this one is clear for better understanding i am solving a question say 4 Triple zero raised to power three minus eighteen. What would be the sum of digit? I would say you solve this question. I hope you have solved. That is three three is a nine nine into nine four cube is sixty four. But we are working on sixty three and the summation of digit of sixty three is nine extra. Instead of eighteen, we are working on seventeen and the summation is eight. So that we have eighty one plus nine minus eight is eighty two. The summation of digit of this one is nothing but eighty two. I hope this one is clear. And this one is the easiest method to find question like. Question number two, which we have. So, what is our formula? Is base zero into power into nine minus if our question is x zero 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 raised to power power minus n, then we are looking for summation of digits of n minus one. We decrease this one by one, and we also x raised to power p minus one summation of decrease by one and digits, and this is our answer. I hope this one is clear. Now solve our questions. We have one, two, three, four. That is four into nine into nine is the number of nines with the summation of digits. How comes? That is thirty-six nines into nine minus. Instead of working on one seventy-one, I'll work on one seventy. That's eight. Two raised to power nine is five hundred twelve. So we work on five hundred eleven. That is seven. And this is our answer. And this one is nothing but three twenty-three. I hope this one is. Clear. Even you can solve this question in the conventional method, but this question, if we try with our formula or your formula, it would be the easiest method. Okay, we have this one, and we need to find n. So we can say three raised to power four is eighty one. We are working on eighty, and summation of digit is eight plus nine into base zero one two three four into four minus sum of digits of n minus one. Is equal to 140 according to question. Okay, we have 8 plus 144 minus summation of digits of n minus 1 is equal to 140. So we can say this value, summation of digits of n minus 1 should be nothing but summation of this 12, and we want the minimum value. So 12 should be the minimum sum of n minus 1. Can we get a single digit whose summation is 12? No. Can we get a double digit? Yes. Can we get summation 12 starting with 1? No. Can we get summation 12 starting with 2? No. Summation 12 starting with this? Yes. We can get. So this is nothing but 39. The minimum number of n minus 1 is 39. So n should be nothing but 40. And this is our answer. So the minimum number should be forty. I am again repeating that is three raised to power four is eighty one. We need not to work on eighty one because we'll give one from eighty one to another numbers that is eighty. Eighty summation is eight and number of nines is number of zeros nine into four into nine and we are looking for the summation of digit of n minus one not one. 
subtraction of 1 here, subtraction of 1 here. And by solving this, we'll get summation of digit of n minus 1 is 12. Need to work on single digit number whose summation is 12, not possible. Double digit numbers starting with 1, not possible. Starting with 2 summation should be 12, not possible. Starting with 3 summation is 12 is 39. So 39 is the n minus 1, so n is 40. So the 40 is the least number. After subtracting from this number, the summation of digit would be 140. I hope this one is clear. If you have any doubt, I would say feel free to ping me either here or on Facebook. Okay, thank you and happy learning and bye-bye.